Hey there, it's Kim Denny with the Inspired Designs and today I'm going to walk you through a few basic tips on completing your RV string art plaque. So when you receive this in the mail as a kit, you can get any of my designs, uh, most of my designs as kits or completed by me. So if you have a friend that sees this and loves it but they don't want to make their own, they can always order this already strung by me. So, you, when you received yours, I have outlined a few sections here to help give you some idea of what's going on and help you get started. And here I'm going to show you the basic technique, and then I want you to follow along on the written directions that you received with your kit for the order in which to complete the sections. Because what we're going to do, since they overlap each other, is kind of build a little bit of a three-dimensional look. So we want to start with the thing that would be furthest back, which in this case is the tree, and we're actually going to start with the trunk. So I have your trunk outlined for you. You're going to take your brown string. I drop the bobbin on the floor because I think it's easiest to keep it out of the way when you're working that way. And just tie it on to any nail in the section that we're working on with a knot. And what you're going to do is just tie it like you start your shoelaces two times. And that makes the knot around the string or around the nail for you. Okay. So this goes for any section that you're working on. The basic technique is just to outline the section that you're working on just by going around the nails. You might need to loop to loop around some of the nails to get it to hang on, but you're just doing a basic going around the edges outline. And then you pretend like you have a crayon in your hand and you're just scribbling inside the lines. You can go in any direction. Whoops. You can make short lines. You can make longer lines and just go in any direction until you hit each nail about once. Now it's okay if you hit a nail more than once, it's okay if you skip a nail, because we're gonna create several layers. So what you're gonna do after your first layer is gently push down on the string so it pushes it closer to the wood, and then just repeat the process. So you're going to do your basic outline, and then random, 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 and you're gonna do that till you have about three or four layers or until it's as dense as you would like it to be. So let's pretend that we have those three or four layers done, and I'm gonna show you how to do the finishing border. So for the finishing border, you take your string and you go around two nails two times. And then you go around the next two nails two times. So you're just circling two nails two times. And it's creating, let's see if I can get it in focus, maybe not, but it's creating a little bit of a bordered edging, a finished border for you. So if it helps you to think of it this way, you circle around nail A and B, then B and C, then C and D, and so on, all the way around the section. Once you've got that done, you're going to cut your string, and you can see how I have long strings hanging here. Always leave your tails nice and long because it's gonna make it so much easier for you to tie on and tie off. It'll alleviate some frustration if you leave long strings. And then at the end of your project, once you're all finished, you could put a drop of super glue or craft glue on those knots once it dries, you'll trim as close as you can, and your project will be all finished. So like I said, for your, tr for your uh, plaque here, go ahead and follow the steps on the paper for what order to do it. You're going to do the trunk, then the tree, the RV, um, uh, the, the tire, and the, the silver part of the tire, and the, the hitch first, I'm sorry, and then the RV, but it's all written out on the paper for you. So just follow along on there. If you have any questions, the easiest way to get me is through my Inspired page, and that's on the back of your plaque here, on Facebook. So shoot me a message through there. You can also feel free to finish, share a picture of your finished project on there so I can see it. Um, if you find that you're getting frustrated, take a little break, walk away. It's supposed to be fun. Um, and the last tip that I have for you is when you do the fire, um, I find it easiest to hold the yellow, orange, and red strings all together and just kind of weave them in and out of these little loops that I've created here for you and it'll just fill in the space nicely and give you a nice blend of those colors. When you're doing the flags, that'll be uh, one of the last things that you do. It gets a little hard because you're working on top of other layers, so just kind of keep pushing down to get the string in there and then you'll do uh, the very last thing will be a white string across the top of the flags. So follow along on the picture. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out on Facebook and uh, have fun doing your project. If you need more, you'll find more on Facebook and on my Etsy page. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.